Tau makes his Heinz Hall debut with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra in London Slatkin. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank you very much. Rehearsal went well? Yes, very, very, very well. How often does it happen that you have a piece of yours on a program where you're playing a big concerto? You know, it happens more than you might expect, uh, especially with this piece, Pangu, uh, which is, you know, kind of traditional concert overture length it's it's often it's a fun thing people like to do is sort of to hire me to play a concerto and then to have this other bit of me uh basically i do find myself taking over first halves of programs a little more often than i might have expected before hangu is a relatively short piece but it has deep philosophical roots yes i mean the piece is a takes its name from a Chinese creation myth, a, a, a god specifically, who uh, basically houses the entire universe in his egg, um, in which he is hibernating. And uh, when he awakens and basically splits this egg in half, um, he creates the world. He becomes the world, actually. He, uh, the, the stress of that awakening actually kills him, but his body becomes the terrain of the world his blood becomes rivers all of that and um and so that's what the piece is about it doesn't necessarily sound aggressively chinese Um, that wasn't really my frame of reference and that that wasn't really uh what i was interested in exploring sonically uh it it was actually more my influences were a little more 50s 60s 70s uh theater orchestration film scores so kind of that thick uh doubled wind brass, wind string kind of sound. That that was really what was in my head. Lots of energy from the orchestra. A lot, yes. The uh, the uh, pangu is swirling around in his egg there, 18,000 years worth of energy. <laughs> Millennia. Um, it, there's also a, a middle section of the work, which is basically, I, I've marked in the score, it's like molasses, and it's basically that sort of awakening that slimy process basically and and there's a lot of activity in the orchestra that's just kind of um the entirety of the world's matter basically swirling around if you will composers that inspired you when you were getting going with your composition there's a lot ideas. of bernstein there's a lot of bernstein in this piece um and also just again from an orchestrational standpoint it's a lot of like jonathan tunick kind of um broadway orchestration so that was really you know, there's a there's a bongo moment in the latter half of the piece, which really is kind of uh, wasn't intended as such, but practically sounds like a West Side Story um, homage. You bring us the great American composer George Gershwin on this concert. Yeah, and, and I mean, if if my piece is kind of drawing on mid twentieth century uh, Americana in uh, film music and theater music, Gershwin is just a couple decades earlier. And uh, and I'm I'm thrilled to be playing this piece. I love this piece. I I'm lucky enough to get to play this piece a decent amount. Um, it's probably my favorite of Gershwin's several piano and orchestra works. Um, it's the it covers the most sonic terrain, the most emotional terrain, the most structural. Um, it, it's the most structurally interesting of everything he wrote. I think. Um, it's fabulous. It's got this caustic side to it, but also this unfailingly romantic Gershwin that we all know and love. 